The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Burkeen. Brought to you by Harvey Autos in Shreveport, Bossier City. The name you've trusted for years. GEICO, the insurance savings you expect. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Total Car Care. Tire Shop and Automotive Repair in Baton Rouge. Bollinger Shipyards. 75 years of delivering high quality vessels. And the Bugman. We get them before they get you. Here's your host, Lee Burkeen. Hi everyone, Lee Burkeen with the Sports Scouting Report Podcast. I'm here at Lutcher High School. In the library at Lutcher High School, I want to thank everybody, Jenny Williamson, for helping. Christine is uh, helping with the camera, who works here uh, as well, uh, does video for the kids and also TV. I was watching her do uh, their the kids at the school here at Lutcher learning how to get behind the green screen and do TV shows like we're doing now. But we have the baseball coach with us, Coach Jensen. We've got the basketball coach with us. We've got Marshall Luke, who's committed to LSU for baseball. We have Dale Smith, who plays basketball and football. And hopefully Quinn Smith will be joining us at the end, who plays quarterback and also baseball for Coach Jensen. And we'll have much, much more. We'll be right back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. You're watching the Sports Scouting Report podcast. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for free and follow us. We're statewide every week. I want to do more baseball and basketball. And I'm coming to the Lutcher game tonight. And I just found out there's a new Bulldog, and what's the Bulldog's name, Coach? Tank, they said. Tank. Yes. Coach, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having us. Coach, uh, Ron Jensen, state champions in 222? Yes, sir. In 4A. Well, it was, that was our last year in 3A. In 3A, we but now it's 4A last year. Yeah. Um, and Marshall's going to be joining us in a few minutes. Your pitcher, who's committed to LSU. Mm -hmm. um, the history here is phenomenal with Jared Poche, uh, one of my favorites at LSU. Uh, and you coach Jared here too, Coach? No. So, uh... I got here, this is my seventh year here. I was an assistant for two years here. So I was, I was after those guys, but uh, as soon as I got here, and really when I became the head coach, uh, Jared and Corey Merrill, who was on that team who pitched at Tulane, uh, both those guys have been great to me, great to our program that they're around. Uh, they're willing to help whenever we want. So, you know, being an outsider, that's why they're not from Lutcher, uh, it's good to have those guys that are, that are local heroes, yeah, you know, yeah. kind of embrace you. And, and be around the program for, for the future players to kind of build off of and kind of see those guys as role models when they were little kids. Five state championships here at Lutcher now, five. It was four, Coach, uh, and then won the fifth one. 2013 was the last one before 222, uh, but five overall. And we'll talk about football's got a lot of state championships here, too. They also won it in football in 2022 here at Lutcher High School. Coach, Marshall Luke, start with him. Committed to LSU. Only a junior. Uh, got a lot of baseball left. What do you think of his future? And obviously not everybody gets to go to LSU. Right. Uh, you know, it was exciting, obviously, when he committed to LSU. Uh, as an LSU fan, you know, you like to see that. Uh, but, you know, we never pushed him to that. That was a decision he made on his own. But, uh, you know, everybody was all excited for him and, you know, wishing him good luck. But, you know, I remind people, he still has two years with us. We don't right. want to push him right. to Baton Rouge right. just yet. Uh, we want to make sure, you know, we, we – we, uh, showcase his talents here in the years that he has remaining. Um, but, you know, the thing about him is, you know, he came here with a lot of acclaim because of the Little League World Series title. And uh, uh, you don't want to say pressure, but just a lot of expectations. And he, he's really handled it well. He's shown a lot of maturity in, you know, just two years. He was a state MVP as a freshman uh, in high school. Had another really good year last year. Wow. Going off of that, you know, with all of this attention on him. Uh, so it's just been good to see the way he's handled all of it. You know, humble. Uh, you would never know, if, you know, when you meet him. Um, he, he's not the, the, the ego guy. He, yeah. He's a team player, and we're very blessed to have him. For all the baseball fanatics out there, you know, the people that use the card at the games and everything, tell everybody about his miles per hour. And then let, they want to know if he's a lefty or right. He's a right-handed pitcher. Okay. He uh, Last year when we played at Denham Springs, Denham Springs has a brand-new facility, really amazing. And on their scoreboard they have uh, – the pitch clock that you know shows you miles per hour, and he got up to 93 uh, at Denham Springs. Uh, typically, I'd say he probably pitches in the 88 to 91 mile per hour range, which you know as a sophomore that's pretty impressive. Two years left. Yeah, two years left. So 
uh, you know, we hope to see him keep improving, keep building on that, and, and um, you know, not only for us, but just for himself. And you know, who knows what his future can be with LSU and maybe even beyond that. You got a nickel state commit in southeast, southeastern, southeast. I'm sorry, uh, in Hammond, Louisiana. Uh, the Lions, not the uh, not the Colonels. Right. Uh, Quinn Smith is the quarterback at the football with the football team. Came out this year for football as a starter, the first new starter. Right. But for you. Uh, a great baseball player. Right. Quinn actually last year was, was going to be the backup quarterback, hurt himself in the scrimmage and was out for the entire season. Uh, but Quinn has been a guy for us uh, that's thrown a lot of innings. You know, he's kind of been our number two guy on the mound. Uh, and he saw a, a big increase in his velocity last year. Uh, and just you could see his confidence grow as the season's going on. He had a really good summer. He played for uh, an elite team with the Knights that, that really traveled around the country. Um, and was exposed to a really high level of baseball. And uh, he actually came back in the, the summer league we play in with uh, a large amount of uh, schools out of New Orleans. We ended up winning our summer league and Quinn threw in the championship game against John Curtis and really one of his best outings. Uh, and it was just good to see that continued maturity, that continued yeah. growth because yeah. uh, a lot of the, you know, like Quinn, a lot of his guys last year was their first time of, of real extended game action. Right. You know, right. we, were, we had a bunch of talented guys in those years before. so. They maybe didn't have the experience. They might have been older, but they were inexperienced on the field. And so you could see that grow throughout the season and continue through the summer and hopefully really takes off this upcoming season. I have to look up uh, Wikipedia, Coach, and I cheated. i gotta, I got to mention this. But Lenny Webster, I looked up, was the longest MLB guy from Lutcher. Played 11 years in MLB as a catcher. Did you mm -hmm. know that? Yeah, well, so I never had a chance to meet uh, Lenny, but I've heard a lot of stories lot, about him. A lot of tradition here uh, in baseball. Yeah, there, it, it's a... It's a long tradition. It's a you know, uh, and it's a lot of people who really come around and still come to games and still have a vested interest in what we're doing. And I think that makes a huge difference, you know, when you have that support uh, from the outside. But no, I, I never had a chance to meet him. But you know, th there's a list of guys that maybe didn't have major league success or you know what you would you know equate to big time college yeah, success, yeah. but were phenomenal baseball players, all state guys, you know, multi sport athletes. Maybe went play football in college. But we're great baseball players as well, and uh, you know we, we we have a bunch of dual sport athletes. It's something yeah. we encourage yeah. around here, and uh, it's just good to see those guys succeed. Kind of like a Gavin Webster, who was a quarterback. It's exactly, the, who was coming to mind. Yeah, Brad Zeller, those guys with the nickels. Uh, Coach, what would you like to see? Do you like where the championships are played now in Hammond compared to Sulphur? I know a lot of them were in Hammond this year. So the that was the was split. The, the, split. the split. So we were still in Sulphur. Uh, it's a strange dynamic, you know, it's something that, uh, and, and the year that we won it, the year before, we lost in the state championship to Sterlington, uh, but I think going that year before made a huge impact on us and just, we, we understood the environment. We under, it, you can hear the crowd in the other field, you know, it, it yeah. gets chaotic at times, there's five balls that might come on your field. It's just yeah. a different atmosphere and uh, I enjoy it. it it's, it's a good thing to, to be able to go and watch uh, multiple teams there. Now there is some some talk about uh, trying to change the format of the playoffs. I think there's going to be a vote in January of trying to go best two out of three in every round, which would still have it in Sulphur, but would change things a little bit. Uh, but you know that's our goal every year is to be in Sulphur, and uh, I don't foresee it moving anytime soon. Uh, it's an exciting place, and it's really where we you know where we expect to be every year. If they do move it from Sulphur, move it to Alex Box. Right. Oh, that would be incredible. That <laughs> right. would be uh, that would be amazing. I, uh, I think we'd have some issues though with, right, uh, right. with postseason right. baseball right. happening right. there. But you know, the, the Superdome's great for football because it's inside in the cold weather time and baseball at all these places. But it would be pretty special to see a football state championship played in Tiger Stadium, baseball played in Alex Box. You know, that's yeah. that's kind of the place that most high school kids and. and young kids today you know, that's the place that they, they dream of playing at one day coach thank you coach jensen for allowing us to do this interview we got the uh bells going off at school that's part of high school here between classes but thank you for taking the time to be with us and uh state champions in 2022 and 3a for baseball they're 4a now and next we're going to have marshall luke join us uh his young star pitcher who's going lsu in two years not tomorrow two years from now we'll be right back Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Welcome back. You're watching the Sports Scouting Report podcast. I'm Lee Burkeen, your host. I'm here at Lecture High School in the library. This is one of the coolest libraries I've ever been in. 
it's quiet. Everybody keeps it great. I mean, look, man, they're teaching how people how to do TV shows, and we're doing one today. Uh, but you t- you heard Coach Jensen, the baseball coach here at Lutcher, state champion coach, and now we have it. one of his players, uh, Quinn Smith, going to join us after another baseball football player is a quarterback uh, for Coach Dwayne Jenkins and also a baseball player. But Marshall Luke is joining us. Marshall, thanks for joining us. First of all, congratulations being committed to LSU. Thank you. What is that like since everybody wants to go to LSU now and play baseball? And Jay's done too. Been looking at it since I was a kid. Always wanted to go there. You committed before they won it, right? Yeah, I guess so. So you were like going before all this craziness mm-hmm. stuff. So they've won seven national championships. Yeah. So not yet. Is that crazy? Yeah. What do you think of the new pitching coach? And the new staff, they got like the best staff in the country now, it seems. Yeah, they do. I've talked, talked to some of them and built a relationship with them. So. Two more years left at Lutcher. The coach said you're already throwing 93. That usually means 96 when you leave high school, hopefully. And then you're 6'2", but still growing. Um, what do you think of the game of baseball? You were a freshman MVP. What was that like being 14 years old and being an MVP of a baseball game. I mean, just you go play like I always did growing up. Just go play with confidence. Is Jared Poche someone that you look up to since? Uh, yeah, I have. I look up to him. He's one of my all-time favorites. Uh, gutsy competitor. Where, where, do you, where do you see yourself as a pitcher? Some guys are like location guys. Some guys are just throwing straight fastballs 100 miles an hour. Some are relievers. Do you see yourself as a closer one day or a starting guy? Yeah. I mean, I like starting because I go as long as I want, but man, but closing, I just like throwing my fastball really a lot. So I just throw time with it. Because, you know, watching LSU this past year, I know Coach would agree with me, Thatcher Hurt uh, was a middle reliever for like three months. He's throwing 97. Mm-hmm. And then he doesn't start till the regionals, and all of a sudden he's he wins a College World Series game. So it's just crazy how they bring you along in baseball. Right? You got to be patient. Yeah. Um, what do you need to work on? I mean, you got two years left, but what do you what do you think you need to work on? I think I need to work on more location, my off speed, that, and my mechanics, more better mechanics. How many pitches do you have right now, Marshall? Yeah, fastball, curveball, changeup. Three. That's a lot with with two years left. I forgot to ask yeah. coach that, but they don't usually. Some of those guys come in with just two pitches. Yeah. Um, do you want to have a fourth? No, I could work on a slider, but you need to work on it more. What's coach like? What pitch does he like that you have? Probably fastball. It moves a lot of movement. Yeah, I got a little rise to it. Okay. Who is your favorite MLB player right now? Uh, Alec Burke. Okay. Uh, who's your favorite current LSU baseball player? Oh, they lost a lot of guys to the draft, but. What about Tank at third? Yeah, Tommy Tanks. Tommy Tanks. Heard. Um, they got some good young pitchers coming back. Yeah, they do. Do you like the catchers, Hayden Travinsky and the mustache? Yeah, and yeah. Um, and then you've got another catcher from Zachary that. Broke his leg sliding in the home in oh, Alex series. Malazzo. Alex Malazzo yeah. from Zachary. Mm-hmm. What do you think of their catchers and how tough those guys are? I know you, your catchers are important and you here. Yeah. What do you uh, think? They got two really good catchers. They work hard every day at practice. Well, they fight for a job. They help each other out. Do you want to mention your catcher? We don't, we don't want to leave him out. But yeah, for Caleb Hastings, my catcher, the good catcher. What grades him? He's a he's a senior. What 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 do you what do you want to say about Caleb uh, and what he means to you as a pitcher? Uh, I like throwing him. He's good. He got a strong arm. Throw people out. Somebody gets on. Ain't got to worry about the runner. Just block all the balls up too. Um, did you have a second choice, Marshall, besides LSU? Uh, I was kind of going down to Ole Miss, but then LSU offered me. So I was like, my dream school. Growing up in Louisiana, always on the LSU my whole life. I love hearing that. It was very loyal to the state. And, uh, do you have? I want to ask you this before we go. Do you have a football player that's come out of Lutcher that that you look up to and say that's my favorite football player? Me, it's Terrence Jones. 
I go old school, I know Washington and little Jarvis Landry. Yeah, Bobby Jarvis. Jarvis? Yeah. Jarvis is still playing in the league. I think, is he a free agent? I think he's a free, free agent. I hope Jarvis gets picked up, by the way. He's still got some time left. <laughs> Marshall, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good luck to you. Marshall Loop, committed to LSU. Two years of high school left. We're going to come back with one more football, baseball guy, Quinn Smith. We'll be right back. Total Car Care, tire shop and automotive repair in Baton Rouge. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen with the Sports Scout Report podcast. We're in the Lutcher Library. I appreciate everybody. Jenny, Miss Jenny, and also Christine is helping us with the camera. Uh, thank you for letting us use your space here at Lutcher in, in the library and all the kids left, <laughs> not that they need to come back in when we're done, but um, we've got another pitcher who's the quarterback for the football team, Quinn Smith. Quinn is uh, his first year to start on varsity, uh, 6'4", uh, also a baseball player committed to Southeastern. I said Nichols earlier, but Southeastern. But Quinn, thanks for uh, joining us. I said that would um, I want to watch you tonight. And, football. I don't want to date it. I don't want to say who we're playing because this might play in a couple of weeks. So we'll just say a game tonight. But um, what has it been like for you with football first year to start quarterback? Well, it's definitely new. I mean, I'm, I've been here for six years, kind of middle school, and I've just been riding the sidelines, learning from my boy, the one year when he was uh, yeah. he's playing at ULF yet now. But I just took the time to learn from him. So I'm just excited to actually use that now. It's definitely a different atmosphere when you're on the field. Quarterback you, Brad Zeller, Winfield, Gavin Webster, uh, the Ursons that went to Tulane, uh, and John Trey Kirkland. A lot of bad. This is quarterback you at lunch. You're the next guy. Um, baseball, you're committed to Southeastern. It's hard to get a scholarship to Southeastern in baseball. Um, who recruited you and how did that turn out? Well, it started off. Uh, preseason going into my junior year, I had a big jump in below and size. So there was a lot of guys calling me at one time. There's a lot of Louisiana schools like uh, UL Monroe was the first to offer me, and Nickel State, UL um, Lafayette, and then the old coaching staff at Southeastern talked to me. But I actually got offered by the new coaching staff that was recently hired. So okay. that took a while to develop. But it wasn't until this summer where that actually happened. What I like is you're going to end up playing against your old teammate here. We'll say, oh, you're still teammates, but Southeastern plays LSU every year. I do. So you're probably going to be looking forward to that. Yeah, it'll be fun. Playing Alex Box, and I know LSU even goes to Hammond. Right. Um, Southeastern gets in the NCAA tournament, it seems like, every two or three years. Yeah. Um, Along with Nichols and a few other schools. Right. I think Nichols won it last year, right? The, but yeah, and then UL was in it two years ago. Yeah. Actually, they were in it last year, they was eliminated by Miami in the Miami Regional, but um, what do you think of baseball and how competitive it is? Tell everybody what you do on staff and uh, what your position is and moving forward. Well, for school, it's definitely different because I'm still in the bat line of playing field. Okay. And obviously, I, I know I have a lot of things to work on, so at the next level, when you become just a pitcher, there's a lot of things that you can work on and focus on. But right now, we're just I'm just trying to focus on winning games with a bunch of baseball. Obviously, I can work on my game to be a pitcher at the next level. But right now, you just do what I can do, get stronger, get faster. I asked Marshall this, state champion in 222. You're on that team. So what was it like for you to, to win a state champion? All that hard work paying off. Right. It's definitely, it was, a, it was a big thing for us. We weren't really ranked that high going into the year, if I can remember correctly. But I, I love that team. It, it was a very good group of guys, and I wouldn't change that at all. I, I actually went into relief for that game, and I got pulled on the line in the last inning to, for a senior who was not very, he, doesn't, he didn't appear to be that guy, mm -hmm. but he went, he closed the deal. I couldn't be more happy for him. And that was what, a 5 3 win? Yes, final game? That was it, close. it was a very close game. Never remember in scoring position. But he just got the job done, and it was the best thing ever. I love baseball, but I got to tell you, that pitch to pitch, it kills me. You know, football, you know when you're going in for a touchdown, maybe a field goal, but, man, it, it could be 0-2, and a guy can foul off nine balls and he hits home. Right? But you just never know. Um, anything you want to say? You want to uh, family anybody to get you where you are? Any? Well, I definitely have to thank Shout my out. parents. They always push me up with sports and academics. Uh, I've had a lot of coaches along the way. I like to thank Coach Jenkins and Coach Jensen for not only 
helping me with school stuff, but through the baseball recruiting process, there's a lot of things I have to miss for school, and they're very okay with it, which not a lot of programs are. Right. So I, right. I really appreciate that. And I want to give a shout out to Dwayne. I didn't want to bother him on game day as the coach uh, tonight, but he's the quarterback guru, right? I mean, I, everybody he's coached at quarterback signs a one double A or D one scholarship. It seems. Even at St. James, he had Narcisse sign with LSU uh, as a quarterback, and then came back to Lutcher. Good to meet you, yes, Quinn. Good luck to you, man. Thank you. We're going to be back with basketball. We introduced the basketball coach at Lutcher and one of the star players who's also a football player. We introduced the young man after we talked to the head basketball coach. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen, the Sports Scout Report Podcast. I did my homework, and I looked up the existence of Lutcher High School the first year, 1913. Christine might like that, 1913. And I want to throw out some more greats. And I'm probably going to miss all the basketball greats. I'm going to throw out the state championship years for baseball. 1951, I wasn't around by then, I even know I'm old. 1967, 1975, I was five years old. 2013, and 222. This past year, football, 75, 78, 83, 2003, 2006, 2008, I'm getting tired, 2015, 2016, 2022. That's a lot of state championships. And now the pressure's on coach here, our head basketball coach at Lutcher, uh, Alton Joseph. That You're next, huh, coach? That's the plan. That's the plan to be next. Good to meet you. Good to meet you as well. What's basketball like in Louisiana at Lutcher High School? Uh, it's been fun so far. Uh, this is my fourth year. Uh, my first year I came when I was the assistant under Coach Piper. And um, these three years have been fun. He left me with a lot of talent. Uh, we've been able to compete district in, district out. Um, we got this hump, the second round of the playoff that we keep struggling to get out. So that's one of our main goals is just to survive the second round. I bet when a kid enrolls at six foot nine, you really like that, huh? To I, high school. I would love that. <laughs> uh, we're going to interview one of your players, Dale Smith, in a minute, but who's six two. But, and I'm sure it's interesting. People don't talk about this, but you play who you have on the team. You might have six two as your tallest guy one year, or six three, and you got to go against teams with six eight guys, right? Sometimes six seven. Yes. How do you scout them? Well, we, I teach my guys to play. To all level. Oh, oh, wow. So when they bring it down, we take it. Um, we're going to get in your test, pressure, uh, make the big guys put the ball down, just beat the guys to the spot. Full court. Full court. A lot of defense. A lot of defense. Because you don't have a super tall team. No. We, we you all have to play. But then we get our guys late from football, so everybody already got the upper hand on us. You're like coach in baseball. <laughs> Y'all are sharing everybody with football, right? Yes. Y'all make it work, though. Yeah, we make it work with the best. Like Dale. Player. Dale's a football player. Yes. Um, and actually, I think it's good to play in multiple sports in high school. Yeah, we uh, we encourage that. A lot of kids, you get to learn from different sports. Um, it's different movements that you can take from football to come to basketball and it all apply together. Drew, Drew Brees was speaking four years ago. I went to an event in Baton Rouge, and he was talking about how he played at Austin Westlake, coach, and he played four sports. Believe it or not, he was a basketball guy. He was a baseball guy throwing 90. And he was a football quarterback at, I still say, 5'11". And, but he knew his future was in football, and he gave up every sport just the senior year. And so I, I like that. He didn't quit his junior year or sophomore year, but he knew his senior year that was just going to be his, his sport. Now, he was throwing 90 miles an hour, but a lot of people throw 90. But it, he wasn't that tall for baseball. But it worked out for him, <laughs> right? Um, anybody you want to mention besides Dale, since Dale's going to be here, but anybody else on your team? Um, yes, um, Jamara Taylor, another guard that's returning, and also Jamon Lumar, a um, guy that's returning. They got a lot of minutes last year. Any chance of college ability in the future for them? Yes, um, Jamon Lumar have a great chance. Um, I know Dale and Jamara Taylor lean into football right now, but I also think those two guys have a, a great chance. Like Coach Jensen, you, you play in a tough district, like Coach Jenkins. I mean, nobody's bad in this area, right? St. James, West St. John, St. Charles Catholic, East St. John, where I was last Friday. I mean, what is it about the river parishes? 
The root fair is always fun. Um, I grew up in this area. I'm actually I'm actually from West St. John. Okay. So I've been around this area a lot. You're an Ed Guard guy? Yes, sir. Okay. Ed Guard guy. Okay. So um, the root fair is always something I grew up in, always something I've been a part of. And it's, it's just, no matter where you play it in the root fair, it's a tough environment. I got to ask you this. <laughs> My favorite former West St. John football player was Quinn Johnson in with LSU. Yeah, that's my cousin. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. And Tyson Jackson. Yeah, no Tyson. You played in the NFL. They came out the same year. I think LSU. I knew that. Huh? <laughs> um, what do you What do you want to talk about basketball? Because I mean, we don't get a lot of basketball guys on. I'm trying to do more. What do you What would you like to see, Coach? Change in basketball in Louisiana. Well, the atmosphere first off. Um, just even here at Lutchett High School. Um, I think if we can get like more support from the student body, Come out even to like the, the community, just to support the kids. Like I would say, one game we had last year, a district game, it was might have been a pack of game we had, and our kids responded. So like they respond to energy. So if that's something we can like change and try to do different things, just to get people to come out and um, watch yeah. the kids play. Well, I wanted to have you on. I want to do more for baseball. We got Coach Jensen on. I want to do more for basketball. And I'm glad I was able to get you on, Coach. Glad to be Good here. to meet you. Good, Good luck to you, man. Well. Thank you. Good luck to you at 4 A's. They're getting <laughs> easier. We'll be right back with Dell Smith, who's a football player, basketball player for Coach. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group and Gonzalez. Welcome back. Lee Burkeen with the Sports Scout Report Podcast. Be sure to hit the subscribe button that Jay's going to put up and also the little the little window deal that you can get it get sent to you. And also go to Twitter. Uh, our website, by the way, our website previews the Lutcher football team, just so Dale knows this, and also Quinn, the football team. I wrote a big article on Lutcher two weeks ago on our website, lafootballmagazine.com. Be sure to go to that and check out the preview. It was it was written before we knew who the kicker was going to be, by the way, Dale. Dale's kicker was so new. Uh, we're going to add that to the article, actually, that y'all got a new kicker who's doing good, right? Yeah, you can imagine came last year, but a uh, new starter this year. What do you, Dale Smith, glad to be a part of the show, man. Thank you. You're you're a basketball guy and you're a football DN slash outside linebacker. How do you make it work? I mean, you, you go football, in the basketball, and it's been fun for you? Yeah, it's, it's been fun. You know, there's not a lot of breaks come from football to basketball. You know, especially if you, if you do good in the playoffs, it's not a, a lot of great time to go for these sports. But. You're a veteran, and you got a ring from last year in football. Yeah. You're 6'2", 220 pounds. You play basketball. Man, that's a physical big guy. I, don't, I wouldn't want to play against you on the basketball court. But I'm sure basketball has helped your flexibility in football, right? Yeah. How much has it helped you? It's, it's helped me a lot. Uh, helped me with my... Uh, what do you think about this year's football team? I mean, you have won a title in 22. Now, everybody wants to beat the champion, yeah. right? So, do you feel like you're having to play harder to to keep that level to try and win another? Yeah, I think we especially have to play harder on defense since we lost a lot of guys on you know, offense. Would you like to play college basketball or college football? Yeah, uh, I think. I go more with the football because okay. I'm not as tall. You being recruited? Because I want to point to the camera. If not, we want to. Yeah, I got one offer from my school in Iowa. What's the name? Grayson. Grayson's recruiting the state pretty hard. Yeah. You're like the 27th guy they've offered in Louisiana. Um, as a DN or as a linebacker? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, you're pretty big in football, 6'2", 220. Yeah. And you're playing where coach needs you, Coach Jenkins. Um, what do you think this team needs to do, Dale, to win another title? What do you think, since we're at the midway point on those? Uh, I think we just need to keep playing hard, keep playing physical like we've been doing. Everything will work out? Yeah. You want to give a shout out to your position coach in football? Yeah, shout out to uh, Coach Forsyth. He's been with me since, uh, since I was a freshman, keeping me going, and Coach Roddy. You're getting you where you are? Yeah. You learned a lot with those guys? I'm going to ask you something and ask the other guys because you're the last guy. Um, hobbies, what do you do outside of sports? Uh, no hobbies? No TV, no video games, nothing? Uh, no sports. 
relax from basketball and football? Yeah. College, you have a major in mind? Uh, this business. Business administration? Give us a call when you get into that because we take interns, man. Good to meet you, Dale. Good luck tonight. I'm going to watch you tonight. I've seen you. This is your third year as a starter, right? Yeah. It's hard to start three years in football at Lutcher. Good, good player, good kid. I want to thank everybody for coming on today at Lutcher, from the baseball coach to the, to the basketball coach to the baseball players. And then Dale, at the end of the show here, I want to thank all my sponsors. Geico actually sponsors this for me to go around the state for our Recruit of the Week and uh, Bollinger Shipyards and some other ones that we have. Appreciate all their support. And I uh, really thank the library here at Lutcher again, Christine and uh, Jenny for helping me uh, pull this off without my camera guy, which they did an unbelievable job helping me. We'll see everybody next week. Thanks for watching the Sports Scouting Report with Lieber King.